That's weird, one second. Okay. Um, I am very <laughs> exhausted right now. Stayed up way too late playing Stellaris, so... I'm a little bit out of it right now. So bear with me. I'm excited to play this though, so... I like this music. Magic Lady. There's lots of hidden content in this game to interact with, and numerous secrets of Starlight City. I guess we just did like a secret. Why did you come from the cellar? Only employees are allowed down there. Sorry about that, sir. Let's go back to our friends. Hey, what are you doing over there? Come have another drink. took you so long. I was held back. Uh, I don't I don't remember <laughs> what anyone's voice was. What the hell was this guy's voice? I mean I can't keep the voices consistent even within a single uh, day, so oh. Hey it's all it's all on me tonight. Drink as much as you like. I like the sound of that. Huh, are you sure you've got enough booze in this joint? You know, Rex is an alcoholic, right? No one goes home sober tonight. The guide is gone. Kitty. That's not William. I forget. I forget that kitty's name. Hey, BBX. Hey, BBX. Bring me my sobering medicine. Oh right, that mobile junk heap's out of commission. I guess I'll have to get it myself. There should be some in the cooler nearby. Uh, or we could just pet the kitty. Huh? Elizabeth? Why are you at my place? Where's William? Meow. Good answer. An extra trophy? Why is there an extra trophy? Ugh, I'm silly. I'm seeing double. Glory of the past. Oh, this cooler, right? I'm all out. Well, that's no good. Guess I'll need to go make some more. Is it crafting? Now, nah, if only I can recall the recipe. I think there's a copy of it on the wall near the stairs. All right. Let's go, uh... In the bathroom first. What a pigsty. Hmm, so this is where my old police badge was. Was I looking for it?
near the stairs. Oh. What? Secret sobering drug formula. Fresh worry free herb is the key. Alright, a worry free herb. Huh. Just put the M and the E together and then salt the ground herb and combine. M plus E. So we need M, E, salt, and herb. There should be enough ingredients in the studio to make the sobering drug, but the worry free herb must be fresh. I should grab some from the living room. Sure. Whoa. Um. Was that always, like, covered in blood? I don't know about that. Heck yeah, cat rave. What? What the hell? Am I still intoxicated, or is there really a crowd of cats partying in my living room? Whoa, this little guy's really going to town on the catnip. What is he, an addict or something? Don't judge him. Oh, it's that monkey thing. Wait, what is this monkey mask doing here? So I am... I'm not sure that I need any more worry-free herb right now. I think I've had too much herb. Hey, William. William, you've got some splaining to do, pal. And who's that new white cat? You switched girlfriends already? I didn't know you were so popular. No wonder Elizabeth doesn't want to come downstairs. Hmm. A grumpy cat. Oh, is this the worry for herb? What's this? This is a group photo of the police academy graduation ceremony. I wonder how everyone's doing now. Eight students and three instructors. They all look confident, happy, and full of hope. Bite marks. Oh no. Is that not catnip that you have? No, it is catnip. These two kittens are actually dancing. I could murder William for this. Why? Why do you hate dancing kittens so much, detective? Batman. Hey, fatty, we meet again. I guess my washing basket's more comfortable than Miss Perry's dumpster. Is that my worry-free herb you've got there? Come on, fatty, wake up. I need that worry-free herb more than you do. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> meow. Uh, I need food to wake him up. Did I see some back at the party? You're in your kitchen now. Do you not have any food in your kitchen? Alright. There's food out here? Oh. The favorite food of cats everywhere. Oof, it smells funky. 
funky like this party. Achievement, greedy cat. Oh, gotta get my herb. According to ancient medicine books, the worry-free herb is good for internal organs, mental health, and eyesight. This worry-free herb should be enough for the sobering drug. It's time to head back upstairs. Do you keep like the salt and everything upstairs too? What about the M and the, the E? No, I don't want to go upstairs again. I went too far. Well, is there anything new in here? This is a report from back when I was a part of the special mission squad. I was a real badass back then. Okay, there's my little drug lab. My files are on the floor again. These damn cats need to be taught a lesson. They better not let me catch them. This old pathological report, I can't believe it's still here. Hallucination and disordered consciousness are messing with my mind again. I thought I'd get got rid of them, but the hallucination yesterday made me feel... Da da da. Okay. Oh, I already have the E and the M and the salt. Um, so first we grind the herb. Yep. Uh, grind it. We... We did it? Mix them inside of here. Okay. Doesn't matter the order of these. Did I not understand the recipe? Before we put them in this middle thing, we have to salt the herb. feel like it's the same as the poster, but I guess it is. The product is evenly blended powder E and solvent M. Delicious. Now do I put these both in here? How hot does it need to get? 
safe and effective sobering drug made from a secret recipe. It hasn't killed me yet. Bottoms up. Kapow, what a hit. Good morning, Royd. And what a beautiful morning it is, too. Rex, you're sober already. We were pretty wasted last night. I'm feeling much better thanks to a few colorful chemicals and a pinch of herb. Don't tell me you took that old quack sobering drug. Are you still drinking that? About the photos of the implant device. The new SMS has locked up the whole case and no one can access it anymore. There's no way we can get the photos now. Your hands are pretty tied, aren't they? Okay, I got it. Oh. Hmm? An unread message. I never have unread messages. What? Thank you very much for accepting this task. I've included all information regarding my partner, Angela, in the appendix. Hopefully it will be of some use. Thanks again. Angela, 17 years old. Ar ar arithmetic ability, level 6. Power limit value, 54. Model ZF074. She likes human beings and lives a life like a human being. Bubbly personality. Uh... Why can't I? Oh, okay. Twenty-one thirty to twenty-one thirty-nine. Worked. Worked in the Bellflower House in Underbridge District. Twenty thirty-nine June. Now working as a waitress at the Fantasy Jellyfish. Um. Okay, so Angela's uh, a robot. Waitress. E. Confirm. Confirm. I am eating. It's not working. <laughs> A missing robot case in Underbridge District. This won't be easy. Oh, a missing. Okay. Angela is missing. Roy can't get photos, so I need to draw that thing from my memory end. Who would show up at this hour? Could it be a new client? Hi, Mr. Detective! You have a parcel! A parcel? The parcel's addressed to Mr. Rex! There you go! Have a good day! <laughs> That's what delivery bots uh, sound like now, so. That courier girl looked weird. Maybe it's a side effect of that drug cocktail. This parcel's for me, but the rain has blurred the sender's name. The address is still vaguely recognizable. Is it the Underbridge District? My friends there would never send me gifts. I'd better scan this before opening it, just in case. Oh, I have, like, scanner vision? Oh, I guess, yeah, we do. That's what we've been using on our detective cases. Nothing on the sensors. Let's open it. Yeah, let's open it. A fuzzy bunny rabbit. Who's bored enough to play such a prank? An eerie eyeball is sewn into the right eye. It looks like... Is this the evidence from the Scott Hotel murder case? Whoa. There's sewing marks on the chest of the puppet. What's been sewn inside? This device looks like the one in the robot's brain yesterday. And this symbol on the side is from the religion bison. Oh no. Whoa! You're, you're Noah. What the hell's going on here? Long time no see, detective. Oh. 
I had the same hallucination as yesterday. But why would that guy appear in it? Is he still alive? I shot him that day, but his body was never recovered. I haven't heard a thing about him since. This bunny rabbit belongs to the victim of the Scott Hotel murder case when Noah murdered that family of four. What does the sender want by sending me a fluffy toy and this device? This device has the symbol of bison that Noah used to use a lot and it looks like the implant device found on the steward robot in Mrs. Perry's apartment. Let's go ask the old man at the repair shop about this. He loves stuff like this. Shall I head to re the repair shop now? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, we're done here. Hello, lady. I heard that if I go to Sky City, I'll never get sick again. If only I could afford it. Yeah, well. It's you again! Did you finally decide to become my test subject? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I came to ask for your opinion on this piece of tech. Does it look familiar? The device from the mysterious parcel looks very similar to the device found on the butler robot in the Miss Perry case. What is this? Is this a device that improves computing ability? Which robot's brain did you cut open to get this? It's against the law to install external devices on electronic brains. Was this device connected to a robot's electronic brain? Of course it was! Look at these three port wires! Uh, does this thing interfere with the inner core directly? This is most unusual! However, this is some master crafting ship, craftsmanship, likely from the Underbridge District. You know, illegal alterations like this aren't uncommon there. The Underbridge District? It looks like I'll need to pay, to pay that place a visit. Yeah, an old buddy of mine there might know what this is. He has a workshop on Square Street in Underbridge. Piddly little place compared to mine, of course. He's called Charles, and you won't be able to miss his huge white beard. So if you're not actually going to buy anything, can you please piss off? Alright. We'll go meet this Charles. How do I get to Under Bridge? Ew. Purple sticky fluid. How do I? Oh, do I have to go to the bus stop? Let's talk to this kid again. Arnold said he's leaving and I hope he likes my kite. Well, at least he gave him the kite. Oh. Oh. Hello there. Large woman. I probably won't see Robert again, but whenever there is a kite in the sky, I think of the friendship between us. I heard something horrible from the society. Poor Mrs. Perry, we used to go to the anti-robot parade together, and she was the kindest person in the anti-robot society. I can't believe she was killed by a robot. You're not allowed to associate with these dangerous robots anymore, Arnold. Uh, Anti-robot propaganda. Uh, fine. 
I guess we'll talk to everyone that we can. Hello. Hello there. One, two, one, two, watch out. M M Malete, behind you. Is he playing some sort of like AR or VR game? Long hair princess 428. Is that someone's username? Keep on dancing like this. Um. Sure. So he's cosplaying as Ash? Catch him? And playing, I don't know. Beat Saber. I don't know what he's doing actually, but very strange. Tall Allen. People say he, he's not the murderer. Isn't the murderer a robot? They're both like the same height. Was one a tall Albert? of the Apocalypse Garden. Oh. Singer. Interesting. I'm sure that will be relevant. Does he have like horns coming out of his chef hat? I don't have any customers at all because of the murder yesterday. Such bad luck. A customer complained to me last time because of the cats and now this happened, my goodness. You know what? This Sephora apartment seems to be haunted because strange things happened here before as well. Wait a second. I can't go back there. Okay. Let's just go to the bus stop. I really want to know what the hell he's doing. Oh. What do you know about Angela? That's unrelated. Oh, okay. I knew these darn robots were nothing but trouble. Magic lady. My favorite product. Noah, that disgusting twisted murderer who was responsible for the serial killings 13 years ago, has never been heard of in all these years. It surprises me he would appear in my hallucination. Is it really him? Why would he appear all of a sudden? So did Noah kill the homeless man's wife? And this device and the thing from that robot's brain? Why would they provoke my hallucinations? Is it a coincidence or are they connected in some way? All the clues point to Underbridge District. The latest missing robot case all happened there cases all happen there and the police don't even bother to look into it because that area is considered to be a wasted land of losers I don't know whether the king still remembers the little conflicts I had with him back then so I need to tread carefully it's his territory 
However, illegal alterations are pretty common there, so it's likely that I can't find information that can find inter- information about this device. A device that gives me a hallucination of Noah, a fluffy rabbit in the post, FK in the coffee. I don't feel good about this. Sensual massage. Sushi. Robot girl. Big bellied gang leader. Hello, Robot. Hey, pal, you don't look so good. They pop up every now and they pop up every now and then. I'm quite used to it now. This is my home, so I try my best to ignore their harassment. But these guys are relentless. They won't let me live in peace. It's probably time for me to move. He's crying. How can he do that? He's a robot. Can you help me out? I can give you something as a reward. Uh, Yeah, of course. How can I help you? They threw my arm down below. Can you get it back for me? Okay, I'll take a look for you, but I can't promise anything. Thank you so much. My arm. Whoa. There's no way I can reach it. I probably need that magnet. So who are you, sir? Oh, you're a robot, too. Leave me alone, can't you see? I'm busy working on my treasures. Oh. Hey, get your filthy paws off my precious torch. Okay. Hello, cyber rat. An old U-shaped magnet. This is it, right? Okay. What did I scrub last time?
conveniently has a ladder on it. What are you up to now, troublemaker? Stay away from my treasure! Let's go get that flashlight, let's hurry. We need the torch. If I have enough materials, I can assemble some props. Props? Can I just magnet it for me? Okay, no, I need to make a magnet tool. Sprinkler with an electronic magnet? What? A magnetic gun. Okay, I don't think that's how that works, but okay. N-O-N-55, mechanical arm, made by the NOAA company more than 10 years ago. So there's a company called NOAA that makes, I mean it's spelled differently, but there's a company named NOAA that makes robot parts? Interesting. Here's your arm, buddy. Thank you for getting my arm back. I don't know what I would have done without it. Don't mention it. I hope you know how to reattach that thing. I'll find someone to fix me up. In the meantime, I guess you're going to the lower part of Underbridge District. Take my white card. I don't need it anymore, and you can't proceed without it. This is... With this card, not only can you go in and out of the Underbridge District freely, but you have access to the Flower Night Town as... To Flower Night Town? To Flower Night Town as well. Okay. Low security areas. Yay, I'm so happy. Was well, uh... Like old Hulk Hogan here. The Mao area security checkpoint. Prepay for the what? No pass, no entry. All you gotta do is ask. I've got my pass right here. Good for you, you're free to enter. Cyan Strong Songstress. Hello there, sir. Welcome to the most exciting place in all of Miracle Street. The city's most beautiful ladies wait for you inside. Is that so? Are they as beautiful as you? Purple songstress. I can assure you, sir, that they eclipse even my beauty. Excuse me, purple. I was talking to Cyan. A child stole my wallet. This 
why I hate children. That kid is always the same. He's not a bad kid, really. He just had a tough childhood growing up with no family except for his sister. I guess old habits die hard. Oh, I'll teach him a lesson, all right. I'll teach him a lesson. Oh, it's Charles. What? I was. Are you a sister? Damn right I was. The little punk stole my wallet and disappeared into the alley. Ugh, he was stealing again? Don't worry, I'll help you get your stuff back. This, what happened? Try to relax, young man. Lola will get your belongings for you. Why don't you sit down and allow me to give you a prostate examination on the house you can detect my augments hang on big brain time this is when you have all the like floating numbers and formulas hang on Charles workshop I guess that makes you Charles Indeed, I am Charles, a downtrodden mechanic in Underbridge at your service. Seems you know of me. Morax sent me to find you. Maybe you can help. Let me take a look. A device directly connected to the quantum brain? The craft's pretty complicated, too. No, no wonder that young man asked you to find me. Uh, this thing is equipped with an anti-analysis mechanism, which will destroy the interior hardware if opened. This is what I like to call a challenge. Wait, give me a minute actually, I may have seen something like this recently. I serviced a robot not long ago, and there was an external device like this one jacked into his electronic brain. Was it a robot from Underbridge District? Right, I remember now. It was B Brank from the Bellflower House. Yes, and Dr. Edward asked me to help identify the device. I noticed that this thing was in hibernation mode and that irreversible damage could be done if it was tampered with, so I left it intact. It seems that a lot of people are looking for Brank recently. Now that's a robot with a story. Where can I find this Brank? It's probably best to ask about Brank on Miracle Street. I like to go to Miracle Street because I'm Santa Claus. He's the maintenance technician for the big boobies. I, I mean, the virtual tour guide, Cannon. The people over there should be able to help. By the way, if you happen to see my grandson, it's worth asking him about it too. Recently, he's taken an interest in the robots that have been disappearing. His name's Namco. He's a little robot and a budding detective, too. Better than you, I'd say. Namco. Namco? Sure. I'll ask him. Uh, Brank. Give me, give me my stuff back, kids. When is Lola going to give me my stuff back? Hmm. Maybe help massage your tired muscles and bones. Oh, I love the hair. Grace Day. Oh, whoa, I didn't even notice the huge statue.
key to go shoot. My darling Hideyoshi, without you, my life's no fun at all. Oh, who are you? Forget it. Whoever you are, can you just do me a favor? I need to finish restoring the king's statue before Grey's Day, so I haven't had time to visit Hideyoshi. It's driving me crazy. Can you pass this note to Hideyoshi for me? It's a love letter. All my feelings are written out on this page. Uh, yeah. Nightflower Town. Okay. A maid cafe? It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'm trusting you with this important mission. Let's do it. Mario's letter to Hideyoshi. Probably shouldn't look at it. Okay, I won't. Um, no. I can't believe he built such a giant statue for himself. His Highness is still as high profile as he always was. Okay. Ridiculously big diamond. Hmm. Wonder if I'll need that. Spot for contemplative shit or not. Modified mini vacuum cleaner, yes. Oh, the truck lights are missing. The accumulator of the truck is flat. Semicircular hydraulic regulator. What? Why would you be able to use a wheel hub as that? Okay, so we have some sort of tool to steal that truck's tire? Can I use the vacuum to steal this diamond? Answer was no. Well, why are there so many people gathered here? Oh, I don't want to. Are they just talking to each other? Yeah. Wait, does the kind? He's kind? I didn't. I didn't even realize. He does look less evil than uh, his, his buddy there. Hey, you in the coat? You've been staring at it long enough. Can you help fix the water main? Uh, yeah. Then come over here and check it out. Just don't screw up. I, I, actually, this guy would probably sound like Bane, right? I don't know how, how he'd be audible. Well, let's see. What do we need? The separator's broken. Maybe we need a big diamond. <laughs> I 
Where is that old man? I guess I'll have to do it myself. Can't steal a tool to get that tire. Uh oh. I should remember to ask him. Wow, that's a lot of blueprints. A soul separator. God's touch. This seems to be a key element for robot restoration. It may help fix BBX. Transforming Billy. What a curious name. There's small enough text in the design drawing. Don't use it on a ruby or... What? No ruby. Very important. Don't use this on ruby. Suction tube. We're going to totally make this with our vacuum. Soul separator. This good device, device could work as a filter for the water supply. So we need an electroplating anti-eddy board, a half arc liquid level adapter, and a separ separable structure. Sure. We don't even know what we need for that. The heck? God's gold finger, God's intelligence, and God's vision. What's God's gold fi gold finger? Uh, well, we don't have what we need, so. This fire controller is a component for the transforming Billy. Looks like Charles has been trying to set something up. Okay. An old looking turbine engine. A separable structure. So the crowbar will get us the part of that truck that we need. This wheel can be made into a semi-circular hydraulic regulator. Uh, so we need like a light? What's this little pylon thing? Nothing. everything that we need for this. I think we might. Okay. A transforming Billy. What a strange device. A warning advises us against using it on rubies. I do remember seeing a giant ruby back at the statue. Except uh, the text said it was a diamond. Even though it is red. Let's go use the transforming billy on it. Oh. Okay. I don't know what this is, but... Processed metal board. This metal's been electroplated and waterproofed. It should meet the requirements for the synthetic soul separator. 
Wait, what else do we need for a soul separator? Electroplating liquid level adapter. So we just need a liquid level adapter. We've got the separable structure already. Uh, so let's go shoot this ruby and or diamond. seems to have amplified the laser beam, but it's out of juice now. I wonder if I can power it back up somehow. Goblin in the forest achievement. With the addition of a ruby, transforming Billy has become Laser Billy. Sure. Were we supposed to transform something first with it? Probably. Separator. Isn't that what we're supposed to be able to use that uh, tire that we got for? find another light for this truck. Uh, we haven't been into that bar. We can't go back upstairs, so I guess that's the only place to still up. They're probably going to blame Mario here for the missing ruby. Oh, okay, it wasn't a bar. It was just a stairway. I couldn't stand the fresh air of Sky City, so I came back to ground level. I can smoke my cigar in peace down here. Indeed, mysterious man. With your mysterious cigar smoking ways. Hotel. Adults only. I can't remember using this kind of shop since I was a kid. Alrighty. Sure. Repair water supply equipment. Find placement equipment for separator. I mean, I thought we we have the tire. It said it would be good separator. We can't build anything with it though. I need to find the old van. Oh wait, what? Oh, I can put it in the toilet? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would I put it in the toilet? we wanted the laser billy for. What a waste. So 
soul separator. Sure. Let's separate a soul. thing can replace the water supply separator. A soul separator? Oh, thank you. The soul separator's been completed. Now to try it on the water system. Here's hoping this contraption works. Here's hoping there's souls in the water. Sometimes I think that the translations for the game are really bad. But in this case, like, transforming Billy and Soul Separator, they're too nonsensical, I think, for it to just be a bad translation. One sec. What else? Now the entire device should be operational. What? You fixed it? Well, I guess now we can call it a day. Good times at Miracle Street away. <laughs> That's what he sounds like now. Uh, so is this Miracle Street down here? Or is this Flower Town? Miracle Street, Friday afternoon. Buildings are very old here. I don't want old buildings. Hey, ladies. Afro woman. Lady Fancy Feather. Shopping festival. Shopping always makes you feel better, right? Alright. Ooh, can we have our fortune told? <laughs> dude, do you want this dude giving you your fortune? The half-robot human detective approaches. Lurk, the god of destiny, has placed a wager on him. Perhaps he will understand the weight of this wager someday soon. How do you know that I'm part robot? Ah, uh, I get it. That crystal ball is a light sensation scanner, isn't it? You've been using this trick to collect information on your customers. Bugger, perhaps he's not as stupid as he looks. I can see numerous threads of destiny entangled around his half-robot body. He should follow his heart and draw from him this deck of Hugo cards. Lark often considers an omen to lost, offers a lost omen to lost wanderers. I've always found it best to humor the locals. Go on then, I'll take one. I see, I see, mm, an astronaut, inverted in a tank of water. This represents mm, adversity. No, maybe it's an illusion, a room full of sculptures. The twelfth, the twelfth card of the Hugo deck, inverted in water, or invert float, as it is labeled. Although in a bad situation, it does provide a new angle to view the world. This could be the key to break through adversity. Okay. Interesting. I should be searching for Brank instead of wasting my time on Hugo cards. Thanks, fortune teller. 
impressive green face paint, by the way. Whoa, this is a tall lady. Step on me. <laughs> Kimono lady. William up there on the balcony? Why is he here? Meow 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 meow. Oh, aren't you just the cutest little kitty? Yes, you are. I wish you'd come visit every day. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Meow meow. That bloody cat's getting more action than I've had in the last 15 years. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, ladies. Hopefully my little assistant didn't annoy you too much. If you like cats, I have many at home. Do you want to come over to my place later to have a look at them? <laughs> he doesn't like what I've named him. Why not? You know who I am? I don't, I don't, hmm. Oh. Am I bound to see some action though? That's what I'm wondering. Hmm, it turns out I'm busy today. So I'll have to show you the cats some other time. I forgot what she sounded like, so I'm not bothering. Why are they so tall compared to me? Do they have like stilts under their kimonos? Like, jeez, I don't even come to their chin. That's with my hat. Bathrobe Betty. Lady Fancy Feathers, so popular. I'll beat her one day. <laughs> Wait, so who? What's your name? Blue Kimono Girl. Red Kimono Girl. Was that Lady Fancy Feather up there? I just wasn't paying attention. Is that the one with... With the kitty? Okay. What? So, seems corrupted or half. This must be the virtual tour guide, Cannon. It looks like she's malfunctioning. If I want to ask her about Brank, I need her to be working properly. Okay, so we have to fix the hotel tour guide. Whoa, who are you? And, uh, with the pink pompadour and mustache? Jeez. Sir, I heard the Cloud Pavilion dance at the Rainbow Club is really something to see. The showgirls there are gorgeous. Their lights are off. Maybe they aren't open today. Let me see. They're supposed to be open in an hour. At uh, Moulin Rouge. There's so many hot babes here on Miracle Street. It's making me sweaty under my fur coat. <laughs> yes, sir, you're right. <laughs> okay, or if that will be interesting. You know what this um, person looks like? It looks like in um, in Day of the Tentacle, you can like dress up a uh, a mannequin, or maybe it's not a mannequin. Maybe it's maybe it's a mummy with. Um, like hair and makeup and it looks it looks vaguely like this individual look at that hair in David Uncle it's like uh, spaghetti and meatballs making the hairstyle I don't uh, I don't want to do a voice for this character 
where that chick go? I just don't know how I'm going to keep this shop running. The beer and uh, cough shop here. Time's running out. What should I do? Who are you? Are you the one Nanko sent to help me? Goodness me, what took you so long? Er, I'm actually not. I don't care who you are now. The show's about to begin, but I have three showgirls missing. Could you please help me bring them back for dress rehearsal? I'm not sure I can find anyone. I'm not very familiar with this place. They couldn't have gone far, and I think they should still be on Miracle Street or in Nightflower Town. So you give me a hand? Yes, uh, yeah, I'll help. I'll go find them now. Oh my god, thank you. The three so showgirls are Ayoidi, who likes chatting with a virtual salesman, M Minim, who loves dogs, and Malit, who's addicted to VR games. Please hurry. Oh, Malit, um, the dude back in the other area who's dressed as Ash Ketchum and playing Beat Saber was talking to Malit. It, yes, that is what I was thinking, Ace, when uh, when I, I read the Cloud Pavilion District. Let's go down here. Oh, sorry, not Ace. You're Alex. I can't read. This game has too much reading. What up? The massage stick is the latest product from Fish Glue Entertainment. The tip on this one looks completely shagged out. Massage stick. A mysterious alley filled with strange noises. Sex place. The sex place is in this door. But we can't go in. Whoa. This is the live in area with EI. So like, I'm not sure what language this game originally is, but this. There are also these weird sort of spelling issues. I don't know if that's intended to be just like in in universe. They don't spell English very well because maybe it's not their primary language. I don't know. Or is that just the devs not knowing how to spell living? Not so fast, sucker. Access to the Mao district is restricted. Please show your pass. More passes? This is getting ridiculous. The new policy came in effect last month. This area is now being managed using a pass system and a universal clock. A universal clock. Alright. I guess that's something we'll need to find. Are you one of the uh, girls? Hey, excuse me, lady. Are you from the Rainbow Club? It is! Checks virtual salesman. Long silver hair. This is one of the missing showgirls, but she's busy chatting with a virtual salesperson. I wonder if I can find a way to shut him up. A smooth talker. Oh. An antique spring lock system. This takes me back. I need to push each of the locks back into the place to open it. Let's do it. Uh, how does this work? Why did the pins start jiggling uncontrollably? Oh. 
No! This is very weird. Damn it, you can't even trust virtual salesmen to stick around nowadays. We were talking just a second ago, and now he's gone. <laughs> what, you want to chat with me, mister? Francesca asked me to take you back for rehearsal. What? I'm not allowed to come out for some fresh air? I can't believe she sent you to find me. Well, do you want to talk instead? I have lots of cats if you want. <laughs> yeah, why not? I guess a shabby old guy like you might be desperate enough to stick around. No offense. What shall we talk about then? Let's talk about... Brank. Do you know a robot named Brank? He is the maintenance worker for Cannon. Oh him? I know him. Rumor is he has a thing for that Cannon. A robot and a virtual tour guide? A good match, huh? Now that you're asking, it occurred to me that he came to our club with some bigwig in a gang last week. He wasn't looking too good that day. I'm not into robots, though. Gross. I saw you talking to a salesman from Islinglass Entertainment. Or, I, Islinglass Entertainment. Do they have good products? Come on, you're not jealous of a program, are you? Forget about him and come party at my club instead. That's for the offer, but... You should come and have a look. Apart from our dance performances, we have other programs and services as well. Mm, I'm a little rusty at this. It's fun talking to strangers once in a while, but now I really should be getting back to that rehearsal. My stage name at the club is Aoidi. Just drop my name and you'll get a discount. All right. The monitor is still working. A deep learning processor, which provides the chips for computers to produce large-scale synthesized nerve networks that can mimic a human brain. Noodle Street's always this busy. Noodle Terry. Indeed, but it's a shame you can't go into Mao District now. Why's that? I think I just saw someone going in. You need a pass to get in there now. I've also heard that even the local sleep schedules have to be in line with a strict timetable. Okay, that's the universal clock, I guess. That is annoying. Tell me about it. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 I don't really care. So we find Dog Lady, and what did the third showgirl like? I don't even remember. Tang City. in the alley. We can't go into the sex place or the live sex show. Not disappointing. Hello, Ace! What is this? These circuits are a mess. No wonder it's malfunctioning. If I can connect them correctly, we should be back in business. I'm hoping that we'll get to play as William again uh, at some point today. William's our cat. Oh, what? So I have to... Okay. And which one is... Whee! Oh, 
And this isn't too hard. Some of the puzzles are a little bit ridiculous, but this one's this one's nice and easy. We did it. Okay, that should do it. Damn, it's still not working properly. I guess the problem must be with the projection equipment up top. Hey William, knock it off and give me a hand. Good kitty. Meow. Mm, so your name's William, eh? It seems you're as smart as you're cute. <laughs> Meow, meow. Stop goofing off up there, William. It's fine, Ace. You good? Welcome to Miracle Street. What can I do for you? I'd like to ask about your maintenance technician, Brank. Mr. Brank? He's a good person, very caring. He often talks with me about his dog. But I haven't seen him in three days. I remember he was complaining of a bad headache. He might have gone to see Dr. Edward. Dr. Edward? Ah, I neglected to mention that Dr. Edward opened a private clinic, often seeing robots for free. Robots in the area almost always go see him when they fall ill. The clinic's located in the C4 district of Nightflower Town and can be accessed directly via Elevator C. What? That's canon. It's a virtual tour guide program. And we're looking for Brank, which is a robot. We're also looking for um, someone named Hideyoshi to give a letter from Mario. Um, but I, I don't think that I've seen them yet. I don't remember where they are. They might be in Flower Town and not on Miracle Street. Okay, I can't leave yet. So it has to be stuff that's in this area. Can I go into here? Is this guy's name Watermelon? I have the latest tickets for the show. You can enjoy the mysterious oriental culture and the beauties of Bellflower House. Do you want it for 20% off? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good, dog. Oh, I can talk to Cannon more? Oh. Yeah, I'm... I don't really have anything to ask right now. Elevator C. That's not this Mao District elevator, is it? Oh, it's Lola and that thief. Stop sniveling and tell me, do you know what you did wrong? Yes, I do. Please forgive me, Lola. Ah, it's you. Please, here, take this. I won't do it again, I promise. What the? It's your wallet, mister. See if there's anything missing. Hmm. Everything's here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Don't worry, I'll teach him a lesson. We got... Oh. Okay, we have our pass card again. I don't think it's enough to get us into here, though, is it? I mean, a different pass, right? White pass confirmed. You're now a winner, not a sucker. Please enter. According to new regulations, Nightflower Town residents are required to synchronize their work and rest times with the new universal clock. 
Only people with a pass of a certain level can access the elevator. I trust that you'll follow these new regulations to the letter. Thank you for your cooperation, winner. Chicken dinner. Okay. Uh, so, the elevator back to Miracle Street is labeled Markle Street. Markle Street. I don't understand. I can use this abandoned workbench to make some items. Okay, so I will have to make some items. My head sure aching. I need to see a doctor. Venus Robot Beauty Salon. A cosmetic melt gun. A high temperature energy device that's used to fix the facial details of robots. Yeah, Markle Street is my favorite place as well. Since the king regular time of the universal clock, I feel more and more exhausted at work every day. Huh. Is there something weird going on with this clock? Interesting. I don't know if you have any junk I can build with, though. Can we combine these two items? We can. We combined a facial detail melting device and a massage stick to make an unpowered laser cutting device. Sure. What do we do with this, though? Why did we craft this? Oh, this is Malit. Oh no, Ash Ketchum went offline. He suddenly disappeared. Did he go offline? Ugh, I can't finish this level without him. Damn it, this is so frustrating. Hello there, I don't suppose you happen to be the showgirl from Rainbow Club. Yes, I am. Did my boss send you here to find me? My partner just went offline. Can you please find out what happened? He went offline and caused me to fail this quest. I'm not going back to work until I've completed it. Do you know where he could be? In the real world, I mean. We met him. We know where he is. Oh, is she playing with someone else now? Oh, maybe she is playing with someone else. She's not playing with Ash Ketchum dude anymore. As he also came here. Chef extraordinaire. Except, hmm. Is, is that how you spell extraordinaire? I don't know, it doesn't look right to me but I'm not confident enough to say for sure. Do you know why everyone calls me Mr. Za? Haha. <laughs> what? That was, that was the only interaction there? He had like a special interaction thing, and all he did was say, do you know why they call me Mr. Za? Haha. Uh -huh. Danger, do not operate. Well, you know what? The first thing I'm going to do is operate this thing. The clock circuit board. If I can get this thing working, I should be able to manipulate the clock. Let's do it. I guess we need to combine the battery and our laser thing. And we'll have a powered laser thing that we can use to cut open that panel. Oops. 
There's your cutting device. Sweet. I don't know what changing... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it cuts laser says. Oh, we also have this deep learning processor, but I don't know what to do with it. Mario's letter to Hideyoshi. Oh no. Looks like someone installed this incorrectly. The light beam needs to be adjusted so that the signal reaches both ports. Placing the prisms correctly should help. Imagine opening up like a circuit board and it works via lasers and prisms that have to be placed correctly. Those X's completely block the flow. Oh, okay, and we can split it. I had to get rid of that X. So we need these two to be in the same square, don't we? And we need this to be in this orientation. So we basically need this except without the X here. I did it! That was a pain, pain in the butt, though. I'm not very good at puzzles, so sometimes it just takes me, takes me a bit. Hmm. <laughs> Always was a whiz with the laser cutter. Looks like this area has entered off-duty mode. I should, it should be easier to get around now. I should find Brank in the clinic. Okay. Another elevator, elevator A. We still need to find the C zone, Diamond Square C zone. We 
have Markle Street. This is elevator C. Okay, so let's go through C. C2, temporary construction. Ooh, candles. Looks like someone wanted a... Oh. Bison will lead us to fusion. The global conflict started from separation, combining robots and humans. Bison will fuse and fusion will connect. Take us to a new land. Yes, these are the beliefs of the new god Noah. And the holy mark of bison. Okay. Oh, that's all on this level. This is the base of the Wanderer sect. Okay, so we don't need any there. Let's go to Diamond Square. Oh! It was a different person. Did he just pass out? What happened? Did I fall asleep? Thanks for waking me up, buddy. I'll continue my game now. Let's finish this level. Alright. So they are playing the same game as the Pac-Man guy, who was playing with Malit, it sounded like, but... But now this guy's playing with her. So these, these dogs know where the last showgirl is. The dog's name is Acid. Woof woof woof. Oh, and the other dog can talk to me. What? A talking dog? Interesting. Go get our VR player. Sweet. Now, so what's in A area? Staff only. I need an orange card. Okay. Maid's Cafe. Let's go to the Maid Cafe. So we're not going that way. I love this guy's hair. Electric Mike is his name. B2. Oh, this must be the other showgirl. Hello. Minim. Huh, what's up? Surrounded by dogs. Are you a dancer at the Rainbow Club? Francesca's looking for you. Ugh, of course. The show's about to start, but I don't really want to go back. Tell you what, there's some questions that have been bothering me. If you can help answer them, I'll go back. Well, yeah, let's answer her questions. Are you ready? I'll start now. I know dogs stick out their tongues to cool down when it's too hot in the summer, but why do dogs stick out their tongues in the winter? Because they're panting. <laughs> Dogs pant faster when they're nervous or excited, so they also stick out their tongues to calm themselves. That sounds about right. Next. Dogs are trained to follow instructions. Can they understand what people say? Yeah. 
I don't think the answer's right. Do you want to think about it again? A clean-shaven maid. Except this maid looks not clean-shaven. Oh, well, hello there. Are you a new visitor to our little coffee bar? Hello, I'm looking for Hideyoshi. Is she here? Yes, yes, that's me. How can I help you? Here's a letter. Mario asked me to pass this letter to you. He's too busy to come himself. Oh, Orioma, he is such a lovely man. Thank you. Wow, I can't believe Orioma could write such sweet poetry. I can't wait to see him again. Great. I wish you two the best. I'm looking for a robot named Brank. I heard he really likes his dogs. Brank? Ah, yes. He hasn't been here in the past few days. That's quite unusual. Is something wrong? Can you tell me anything else about him? He lives in District A2, above here. Yes, I remember. It's A2H7. He has a very cute corgi, Ellie, and takes care, takes good care of flowers and plants. Has Brank been behaving strangely recently? Behaving strange? Nothing really stands out. To be honest, Brank always was a quiet fellow. Hey, where's my sweet little Hideyoshi? Is It's that disgusting sicko again. He's been pestering me lately. I'm sick and tired of it. Can you please do me a favor? I can tell you more about Brank when we get rid of this slime ball. Yeah. How could I help? He is pretty skittish, so if you make some noise down below, he should leave. Get going. I'll try my best to hold him off. Okay, I need to make some noise down below. Uh, how do I get to the other side? through here? Oh. It's a bearded Santa Claus and his goons. I don't know why I said a bearded Santa Claus. Of course Santa Claus is bearded. Another table to build things? Maps. Sewer maps. So really I'm going to go trudging through sewers to create a distraction to get someone off that maid's back. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Maybe I can use the delivery passage to make some noise. Three point nine nine K bridging Goldfinger. This is made of numerous gold conducting blades with a high strength, oxidation, and conductibility. The best choice for transmitting signals. Oh man, let's play the this game. What is this? Oh, this is this is the same game that we've played before. score.
No. Ooh, Ooh that's close. We're like a pixel off from death. I don't know why I'm wasting my time doing this. No! Okay, I'm not gonna play again. We did get a better score than last time, though. Delivery passage. Delivery passage. What's with that delivery package? Passage. Um, an automatic freight terminal. What's going on? Is there a problem? Guard, we must take a look. Hideyoshi, wait, wait for me, okay? Oh man, the achievement icon has like, ooh, heart eyes. The stupid dog questions. Thanks so much for scaring him away. He's such a slimy wanker. Don't worry about it. I'm happy to help. Now you mentioned you could tell me more about Brank. Well, Brank often brings Ellie here to play. He doesn't like talking very much, but he's always very polite. People here like him very much. Oh, I remembered something that might help you. One time, when Brank was drunk on pre-mixed oil, he complained that some gangsters were pestering him and forcing him to do some work that was really upsetting him. Forced to work for the gangs? I see. Thank you for your information. I still owe you for driving that idiot away. Thanks again, Mr. Detective. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll answer your dog questions. Yeah, they're panting. No. Dogs can't understand language, but they can understand tone. They know what to do when they hear certain tones. What a pity. I thought Lisa could really understand me. Do dogs only eat vegetarian food? Some people feed their dogs fresh vegetables and fruits. Sometimes I see dogs grazing on the weeds between the old train tracks. No. Dogs don't absorb vegetable protein. Long-term feeding of fruits and vegetables can often result in death. Dogs may eat grass to clear their stomach, but if they eat a lot of grass, they should be taken to the vet for extermination. I know what it actually said. <laughs> I know what it said. Oh, really? Wow, thanks for the wording. I'll stop feeding my dogs fruit. <laughs> You're pretty smart for a detective. The last person to answer my doggy question so well was Brank. Brank? You mean the maintenance technician? Do you know him? Of course, he comes here with Ellie. She's so cute. Oh, sorry, you probably don't know Ellie. She's an absolutely giant chunker of a corgi. I'm going back to rehearsal. Thank you for helping me with my questions. I found all three showgirls from the Rainbow Club. I should head back there now. Cool. We did it. Yeah, Alex laughs IRL all the time. It's his favorite thing to do. Is that like a goblin robot?
go back to Markle Street. Um, I am a human, but in the, uh, garden something incident, like garden apocalypse incident, incident, I was, uh, severely injured, and my partner, who was a robot, uh, sacrificed himself to, like, donate part of his brain to me, and so part of my brain is robotic. Um, so I'm, I'm a human with some robotic brain implants that are now illegal and it was only done at that time like as like a, a moment of desperation thing I don't, yeah so I'm, I'm like the only sort of human with robot brain besides maybe some of like Noah or, or some of the bison people maybe some of them have illegal robot brains too All three of the girls returned, right? Yes, thank you so much. But there's one last problem. Somebody messed up our lighting system. There's control stations just below us. Can you please adjust the lighting to a rainbow color? Anything for you, ma'am. Rainbows. Is that going to be in the, in the alley? No. Where do I adjust the rainbow frequencies? She said just below us, but... Oh, right here. Rain bomb. Ooh. Okay. I guess I turned it on. Is that all I had to do? Let's turn to a rainbow color. Okay, I guess I'll know when I see it. Oh, okay. Oops. I tried to do it on orange. I guess I have to wait for it to rotate back. <sighs> Oops, oops, oops. I have to wait again. Oops. I also need to pick like a, a lighter blue, a real blue, and then a purple. We did it! The Rainbow Club's now open for business. Hey, ladies. Wait, so they just sit in, like, the window like that? Wow, this is my kind of show. High heels and red lipstick. I'll be the queen of the stage tonight. Come here, come here, my lost little lambs. I'll take you into my palace. Um, hmm. 
I don't sell love, but I do create dreams. Hello there, my mysterious detective conversationalist. Want to come inside and talk shop with me? We have to greet all the ladies, right? No, we came and talked to those ones. What a shame. Mr. Detective, you are amazing. I could kiss you. Let's go uh, talk to Dr. Edward or whatever now. And he is in C4, right? Oh. The chuffing robot. Uh oh. An ordinary gang leader. Damn, I can't get inf any information out of him. I'm gonna get an earful when I go back. The doctor didn't take us too seriously because he's got friends in high places looking out for him. If the boss hadn't stopped me just now, I'd have taught him a lesson with this electric trident. <laughs> Come on, take it easy. If he really does have connections, using force wouldn't end well for us. Just an ordinary gang leader with a really big belly. Hey, granddad, get out of the way. Those guys look like gangsters. What's going on here? Uh, let's explore out here before we go in. Okay, let's not explore out here. We're done exploring. Oh no! I know it hurts, but try to keep still. Fortunately, they're all just flesh wounds. These gangs really have no principles. Another patient? You don't look sick. Are you here for a physical? Dr. Edward, I'd like to ask you about a robot named Brank. I understand he was a patient here. It seems everyone's looking for Brank. Some gang members just came by asking about him. The gangsters are looking for Brank too? How are we supposed to know where each patient is? These people make trouble when they don't get what they want. My poor Edward. It's okay, Luna. Let's see if any damage has been done to the instruments. Okay, but you really should lie down for a while. Can you tell me about Brank? Sure, but you know I can't break doctor-patient confidentiality. What I can tell you is that Brank lives in District A2, which is a staff residence for Bellflower House. He often has problems with dog hair clogging his systems, so he comes to the clinic every week for regular maintenance checks. There's a cafe over in District A3. Dog walkers like to go there. You can probably find some of Brank's acquaintances. Okay, I'll, I'll go check it out. I didn't expect Brank to be in deep with the gangsters. There were rumors about him being close to some gang leaders, but I don't know much about it. I do know those gangsters are looking for him now. Maybe he's on the run. Brank hasn't received his regular maintenance for a few days. If you do find him, please remind him he's due for inspection. Thanks, Doc. If I find him, I'll tell him. Uh, let me go explore your shop. What's this? Genetic experiments. This looks like a really old medical journal. Hmm. Oh, high dimension memory. This seems like a quantum chip storage that simulates a brain for intelligent robots. After the accident, Edward and I have drifted apart, so... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's just leave. Oh, 
was a little tiny robot. Finding out Brank's address was a bit of a reward, but if the gangs are also looking for him, it means that things are more complicated than I had imagined. I'm also interested in what the gang said back at the door. There's something odd about that doctor. So you're the detective looking for Brank? Who's asking, pal? Nice to meet you. My name's Nanko. I'm a robot detective. Grandpa Charles adopted me, and now I live in his workshop. Oh, okay, yes. I'm Rex. Charles mentioned you. I heard you're looking for Brank. Indeed, I am. We share a common goal. I'm investigating the recent disappearance of some robots. Brank is the latest to have gone missing. I suspected that the gangs had kidnapped them, but it seems like all of the missing robots also visited this clinic. This is a major lead. I tried hacking the clinic's computer records, but found nothing useful. Maybe there are some critical paper documents in there. Need some help? I would suggest the most logical course of action to be splitting our responsibilities. Please find Brank first. There must be a reason why the gangs are looking for him. Here's a heaven level pass card. It is still experimental, so it's not completely functional yet. It can only unlock districts at orange level and below, but that should be enough to get you to Brank's address. While you investigate Brank's house, I'll be working on the clinic. If you find anything, I'll be at Grandfather's Workshop. We can exchange information there. Good luck, human. Sweet. I thought you'd be working on the clinic. Where, where are you going, Nanko? Uh, the... We should probably read that uh, piece of paper that we picked up. So that's what Brank looks like. So this is my robot partner's police badge. 7185, I'm sure... 7 1 something something 8 5. I'm sure this will be relevant at some point. The Apocalypse Garden incident. Uh, so Abel is Noah, right? I think. Oh, yes, Ace. He's, he's going to go work on a different clinic. <laughs> Okay, so I'm quite unstable in terms of physical and mental status. Rights, Biopet Technology Band, Genetic Experiment Code. There we go. 
Gene Modification Experiment Research Report Code 1179. Reinforcing certain physical functions by genetic modification has proven stable and mature by the results. Expected experimental targets were all met. However, after long-term observation, we found the genetic modification had some flaws. Although the test subjects had successfully acquired the expected physical function reinforcement, the modification would contaminate the genetic pool of the test subjects more seriously than we had estimated. Though the long-term observation, or through the long-term observation on subject EG6482, we found this genetic modification will lead to lesions being exhibited by every other generation among the descendants of this subject. Descendants would soon die because of the lesions of several body parts caused by genetic issues. Okay, so that actually, I don't think told us much. Anti-robot propaganda. Wow. We'll find out. Oh no. Ah! Help! Help me! That robot's in a bad way. Should I help him? Heck yeah. We find a doctor. This cleaning robot's going to hibernation mode. I need to go find a doctor. Uh, well, I guess. I guess we'll go back to the clinic then. You're a doctor, right? Hey doc, somebody up above might need your help. What is it? Our robot seems to have passed out in the C1 district. Any chance you can check it out? A robot? Okay, I'm on my way. Luna, you look after things here. I need to step out for a while. <laughs> okay, can I do some more snooping? The nurse is distracted. Now's my chance. Aha! It's Brank. Brank's medical record. Exceptionally high arithmetic ability and social competence. A real high-end technician. Several systems clogged with dog hair, likely from walking his dog after work. Aging Beach, 12 parts due to overworking, which will require regular hospital re repairs. No defenses, non-violent, Bellflower House. Social rights, R7. He's 49 years old. Oh, there's the missing robot, Angela. Her older sister was destroyed by humans. She has instability in the logic level of her brain. Not happy to be restored or rebooted. Cognitive autism has appeared in the simulated brain. Observation and regular treatment needed. She's outgoing and likes humans, though. Interesting. Okay. This is just an act. She hates humans. Martin. Her mechanical joints are easily damaged due to long hours working in an acidic and high pressure environment. Cannot afford joint replacement, so an anti acid treatment needs to be performed. Zong Bing. The external bones are frequently damaged due to wear and tear, so extensive external repair is needed. Correction of external bone balance is also required. So they call like the exterior like exoskeleton bits of robots bones? He was transformed into robot hatchetman by the gang, so the emotional system is extremely unbalanced. A reset needs to be performed. Okay. Angela and Frank both missing both of records in this medical log. The serial numbers also end in the same digits. Uh, Butler robot had these numbers in serial code too. Oh, I didn't even look at their serial numbers. What? CD01. CD01. Okay. That is interesting. 
CD01. Use our orange pass guard. You're a stranger, right? This executive has staff has go away. Switch 7 is where Brank lives, right? What's this? Garbage dump. Okay, let's go explore Brank's house first. Seems like nobody's home. Oh, it's a weak puppy! It's Ellie the Corgi. I hear a dog whimpering. Maybe something has happened to Brank. I need to get in there and have a look. Yeah, save the puppy! A special facial recognition anti-theft lock for robots can only enter after the code is cracked. Uh, okay. I need to fill every single node to complete the decryption. The route can cross itself, but not overlap. And it can't go through the same yellow node twice. Yellow nodes must be hit in the right order, and the route must finish where it began. Route can cross itself but not overlap. What does that mean? Oh no, I get it. Um, it's only yellow ones must hit in the right order. And it finishes where it began. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up again. Same mistake over and over. See, oh. Ace. This is, uh, my whole strategy here is wrong, so let's see.
leaves one undone. Um, what am I not understanding? So I can cross over, that is a rule, and I've avoided using it, but maybe I shouldn't be. notification. So we need this adder edge, and we need the one. But from here, I don't know. another number. Okay. I don't know. Possibly. So after the three, I have to hit this bottom corner for sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
We have to go to. If we don't go here, we won't ever be able to get it. If we don't get this corner, we won't ever be able to do it. Uh, I'd want to enter the three from the bottom, but I don't think I can. this uh, from here at least about leaving one node untouched Jeez, that took long enough. Let's help the poor puppy! <gasps> Jesus, what the hell happened in here? That's a giant bison symbol on the wall. No, th no signs of theft or robbery. Yeah, this is a signature Noah crime scene. So the purpose of the bunny parcel was to bring me here. But why? Well, I suppose I do recognize these crazy symbols from Noah's old crime scenes. Wait, I thought that... I thought the dog's name was Ellie. It wasn't named Airy now. What's wrong with this dog? Judging by this poor, malnourished pup, brank has been gone for a while. Feed the puppy! Poor thing, let's find you something to eat. We can look at the stuff later. We have to feed the puppy. No, there's there's no food in here. Oh, is this food in here, maybe? Yes, natural dog food. Here, puppy. Please eat this food. Eat it. It's ravenous. Nearly bit my arm off. If there's a Noah symbol on the wall, there must be something else in this room as well. Let's have a look. Oh, good puppy. Cheryl. An unreleased classic poster of the singer Cheryl for one of her shows 13 years ago. She was one of Noah's better known victims. So is she the homeless man's wife? She was killed before that show was even announced, and this poster should have been hanging in Cheryl's dressing room, but all the investigators found was an empty space on the wall where it should have been. So we have a missing poster from a crime scene 13 years ago, which turns up in a missing robot's apartment. Is this some kind of message for me? The bunny puppet sent me to the 
sent to me the other day also belonged to one of the victims, so that makes two things linking these events to Noah's case so far. Whoa, what? A trail of footprints from the bed to the door. The irregular steps suggest a staggering movement. There is condensed fluid near the footprints. Judging from the footprints, someone must have gotten out of bed and walked out of the room in a disorderly stagger. These steps look like ones of a drunk or drugged person. Sweet. We have a clue! This charging device must have a past record of the robot that used it. Maybe I can find some information here. Let me try. Um, incorrect charging. Incorrect supplementary fluid. Account balance. Low credit. There's so many overdue bills. Looks like Brank is barely making ends meet. Oh. It's malfunctioned. Interesting. There's fluid. An unknown chemical can be seen in the recharging fluid. The user has ignored it. A warning label on the a warning on the label advises against adding unauthorized chemicals, but it seems like somebody wasn't paying attention. Looks like tank number one has a similar problem. I'd better take it out for inspection. see such re it's rare to see recharging fluid coagulated like this let's take a sample even though I'm not sure what an analysis will show coagulated disgusting Brank must really love his pub or should that be loved oh don't say that there's a lot of residue from the robot recharge fluid on the bed and the ports and tubes have been ripped and torn did Brank do this to his own bed? A book about the Prophet, a truly revered figure among robots. Okay. Yeah, 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 we've done this before. Um... So it could be this one, or it could be this one. Let's go with this one just because it's more fun. Uh, how do I reset? There we go. Oh, that's that doesn't make any sense at all. Okay. What have I done? Maybe is this then? should work. Brank could put some kind of additive into the recharging fluid tank. The recharging device sent out a warning and he gave it a manual override. The additive entered Brank's body through the recharging input port. 
on October 17th, Brink was recharging when he suddenly got up and yanked out the recharging input, which damaged his bed out outlet and his own input. Brink staggered towards the door in a very strange way, ignoring the fluid leaking out of his body. He exited his home and went missing. There's no trace of another person at the scene, so Brink probably left by himself, and if the data from the recharge system's force wake-up function is correct, Brink left the room with his body in dormant mode. A sleepwalking robot. That shouldn't be possible. First the butler robot in the Miss Perry case, and now Brank, with the same kind of implanted device. It stands to reason it's the implanted device that's causing both these robots to act irregularly. Anyway, this strange fluid additive needs to be investigated. It looks like a coagulation of a certain kind of liquid nano substance. What exactly does this thing do? Pup! Yes, I will say hello to you, pup. Why are you barking? Are you talking to me some- are you taking me somewhere? Do you know where your owner is? Should I follow this poor mutt? Yes. Yes. Puppies must be followed. Where is he, boy? The puppy is barking at something down below. Did Brent come this way? Let's climb down and take a look. A sewer? Look, here in the wall. This is the same coagulated fluid from Brank's place. I should follow the trail. Is the puppy not coming? More liquid. He must have gone inside here. Okay, okay. I just want to explore. So I see the coagulated fluid over there. I guess we're just following it. I can't go up. Okay, I'm just following these smell trails. Oh. Wait, can I... Safety first. I need a pair of gloves. Not enough power. There's liquid on the other side. But someone must have raised this bridge. To slow a pursuer, perhaps? Damn it, I need to find another way across. Yeah, this stupid machine, but we need gloves? Where do I find gloves at a time like this? Okay, so it's rear wrap power. A massive hydroelectric power generator. Maybe there are gloves in here. Noah's bird face? This graffiti is very rough. It looks like it's been drawn in a hurry. Noah's symbol just keeps showing up during my investigation. Am I Noah? That's my question. So we have an insulated glove, which looks very impractical for manipulating anything. It's like an oven mitt. So we need to go down. Interesting. We have a high voltage nickel metal hydride battery. And an operation man. So we need power to go in there and then to the right. Backup requires an external source such as a battery. Maybe like the one we just picked up. 
access controller and the battery compartment. Okay. We can do this. Across here? Yes. Oh no! Okay. I guess I should have stayed and explored more. Soft plastic tube. Oh man. We have the gloves now. We could have started touching all sorts of stuff. Power. A synthetic energy resource. That magnetic generator should be run be able to run on this fuel. Okay, so we need to have that delivered. Okay, can I push it? didn't work out. I guess I'm pushing it this way. So what is this? Drawbridge. Okay, so we have one drawbridge down. And now, do we need to take out this battery and put the battery into here? Cannot put the battery in there. Where are there these battery slots if I cannot slot them? Okay. That's all we can do right there now. Trail end here? No, it circles around to the back of this wall. There must be a secret path. There should be a switch to open it close by. 
Oh. Okay, that was very easy. Okay, we have to get the turbine to full energy first. Let's bring this thing up. Do we need it? Let's look. Let's look around. So if we have it go through this weird busted pipe, what happens? Where does that go? it makes any sense to try and bring it back to this one so that's the only place I think it makes sense to send it yes awesome cool Cross and mess with all that. Back on. What does this thing do? Okay. Full of rubbish. Another diary? Does everyone keep their diary hidden in rubbish heaps now? And why am I constantly rooting through rubbish heaps? They stink. The lost robots notes. Humans didn't abide by the peace accords after the war. We tried hard to work for the humans, but didn't get the respect we deserve. Random damage and abuse, as well as universal discrimination. The peace accords were nothing but a piece of paper, and the humans never planned to abide from it from the very beginning. Sorry. This is just their way of lying to us, and we've seen no change to our situation before or after the war. We should stop abiding by the so-called peace accords. We need to make a change if we want to live our own lives. The revolutionists can help us. Okay. What other new things does it claim I have? The first ever robot to awaken the prophet. I get a green check mark whenever I c collect all of the thingies. Mm, I love green check marks. I guess that was the only point of that room. Reroute. 
without power. Thankfully, these cables light up to show me what the heck's happening. Not enough power. enough power to do this? No. So this is how I have to have this to get any power up to that drawbridge. This might be enough power for the switch. No. Full power. Okay. What's the point of this junction box? Oh! Okay. Oh, I got it. Is locked and can only be opened with a special key. Okay, and we're back here. Whoa! Mysterious tomb? Is this the tomb of the prophet? <laughs> Another battery. I don't have another battery. Ugh. Hello, cyber rats. Look at this body. Looks like something out of Hotline Miami. A key. Thanks, bud. Um, I'm gonna take my battery back. Is there anything different if I? I'm assuming I'd need them both powered. So I'll just I'll hold on to that for now. these. I 
that's uh, some binding on uh, four, a click on two. I just don't understand the mechanic of this game still, so. Diary. Did it belong to that dead guy in the water? The Diary of the Dead. I should not have followed it. I should have just focused on the maintenance job given me by the gang members. Why did I follow them? I have nothing to do with that weird one. That person with a bird face mask? I should never have followed them into that cave. It's a plague doctor mask. Stop calling it a bird face mask. Curiosity really does kill the cat. There were lots of glowing mushroom. Lots of glowing mushroom in that cave, and I got lost inside. Then I saw, I saw, no. I saw its secret, and it's been haunting me ever since. It hides in the corner, behind the doors, and in my dreams. I have to hide in the sewer, where there's no drinking water or food. But this, where there's no drinking water or food. <laughs> but this is a horrible life. Now I have to survive on the food scraps and the rubbish that falls down through the rubbish pipes. Damn it. It have come. It will find them one day. I finally know who is after me. It is the god of death, and it will take me away. I'm so tired, I can hear it. It's finally here. Did you hear it too? Tick tock. Tick tock. That's the sound of the footsteps of the god of death. Uh, cool story, bro. Oh, this was his bed? Oh, sweet. More power. Yes. Soon we will be fully operational. So we don't need that switch powered anymore. Let's reroute. Oops. Let's try and power this thing. Do we have enough power here? Not enough power. We need to go across and maybe cut cut this power entirely. Can we do that? Is that enough power? No. Maybe we have enough power for this drawbridge at the very least. Three bars? I don't know if that's enough. It might need to be full. Okay. Wait, do we have another battery up there? I want to take that battery. Ah, oh, man. Did I put that battery in there? Did I screw up that tomb? Access by wasting a battery. <sighs> so how how 
do I do this? power to the oh I mean, it looks like it has full power but all right Do that drawbridge first. So these little arrows on these um, things around the pipes, they're, they're meaningless because they don't actually restrict the flow in that direction, but it doesn't seem like they do. There we go. Nice. Short months of full power. I still want to get the straw bridge, so... Oops. Should be more than enough power. And this is the battery I can pick? Yes. So now I'm going to power that switch up again and go up to that tomb again. miss out on a secret.
No, it wasn't in here. It wasn't here? No. There's the other way. Excalibur. Or the Sword of D. Only the Chosen One can remove the sword and be imbued with the ancient spirit contained within. What? Oh, okay. Am I the Chosen One? No. I can't pull it out. Am I not the Chosen One? What? Really? Dead. Did I fail something? Let me read what the achievement was. Try and fail to pull out the sword. Uh, can you actually successfully pull the sword? Did I not mash E quick enough, maybe? That's very frustrating. Maybe it's just an Easter egg, I don't know. Oh well. No Excaliburs for us. There's a secret passage. I must be close to Brank now. Oh. What the? Storing such a large amount of recharged fluids is a big project. There must be something huge connected to this machine. This residue is different than the one Brank left behind. Is that because of differences within the robots themselves? Looks like this robot's dead. Let me check inside the head casing. Yeah, he has the same device installed as the others. Looks like this one's broken, though. Ugh. This strange liquid seems alive, and it's entering the electronic brain through the implanted device. Is this how Brank was controlled? Gross. Test the device. Inject number three with experimental liquid. Put in an instruction. After the instructions were entered, the whole liquid tank activated. Did the instructions activate the liquid inside? This equipment seems to be sending some, out some instructions through the movements of the fluid. What is it calling for? Test it. No standby body detected importing previous data. Blank sequence code. Okay. Is it going to bring him back to life? Oh, oh, that's three. For some reason I thought this would be three. This is... It seems that the liquid leaked from the damaged interface is the same as the residue left by Brank, but it's still in its original form. I should take some samples. A nanostructure fluid, which can make robot supplementary fluid coagulate and easily volatilize in the air. Okay, that's cool. This is the same mark as the one left by Brank. He must have been here. 
Someone has used this device to activate the liquid, controlling the robots and forcing them to come here like walking corpses. This gigantic device must be the key to why robots were attracted to this place, and the method for controlling the robots must be this liquid. I need to give this sample to Charles for an analysis. However, Brank's trail ends here. Was he taken somewhere else? There's no hidden switch. I need to keep looking. Something happened here. What's all over this wall? There's some marks here. If I keep following this, I may be able to find out where the controller is. Okay. Uh, out this way is just rubbish. Yeah. I don't like that those lights followed me. Well. How convenient. Jesus, that was close. That explosion was aimed at me. Has someone spotted me? Or was it some sort of automatic defense system? The passageway is ruined. I need to find another way. I've acquired a sample of the fluid. If I can figure out its origin and effects, I'll know how the murderer did it. Okay. Jeez. As long as you stay like this, you should be able to move around again soon. I see. How do you feel? Great. I feel good as the day I was born. Thank you very much for your help. I'll pay for it later at the clinic. Focus more on your work-life balance. If you work too hard, the problem may reoccur. Thank you for the advice. See you later. It seems like I'm not as good as you at solving immediate problems when they present themselves. Ha! Huh. Age and experience, Sonny. I've been cutting my teeth on this stuff for decades. <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> what am I doing? That's <laughs> your whip that looks serious. I dealt with it at the clinic. It's not as bad, but it will take some time to recover. Those gangs are out of control. This is why a doctor is so badly needed in the Underbridge District. And thanks to you, Sonny, we've got one. The other hospitals are too far to get to when you're sick. Yes, well, thank you for the kind words. I'll pass them on to my wife. It looks like you have a visitor. Okay, so I can talk to both of them. And that's it. Let's talk to Edward. Still no sign of Brank? I hope he's alright. Oh. Uh, here's some goo. While tracing Brank's movements, I found this. It seems to be some type of nanostructure. Can you help me analyze it? Is this a group of high-density nanorobots? They appear to be in a fluidic state. Edward, come have a look. Is this what you were talking about? Yes, very similar, but I remember they were still experimental and hadn't been put into production. How could they even be here, unless the king? It seems there's more to the Underbridge District than meets the eye. By the way, young man, how did you get so filthy? I triggered a bomb and everything I collected got ruined in the explosion. This one clue's the only thing I've left to continue the investigation. An explosion, you say? I hope the clinic's okay. I wonder if that's why Luna keeps calling me. Was the explosion near the clinic? You should go back and check it out. I'm on my way. We can talk later. 
I'll take a close look at this fluid, young man, and you should have the results by tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Charles. Okay, children, smelly children. Do I really want to talk to them? I guess I have no choice. Why are you three here? What are you talking about? We are talking about the explosion at the big water wheel earlier. Oh, uh, was there an explosion? You don't look surprised at all. Are you in any way involved? But what did you blow up? Wow! No, no, I was searching for Brank. His trail was erratic, like someone else was operating his limbs. It led me to a place with recharging bays and a tank of some strange nano fluid. This fluid could be what was controlling him. And then seconds later, boom, I barely escaped. Recharging bays, nano fluid. I have a feeling this has something to do with the missing robot cases. And the robots were being controlled. That, possi that possibility never crossed my mind. I just gave up on doing a robot voice for him. Cool, the gangsters must be conducting secret experiments. I'm not sure whether this has anything to do with the gangs, but the explosion happened when I was about to find out more. If you didn't see anyone coming after you, it is likely to be an automatically triggered self-destruction device. I think you're right. The explosion ruined almost all the evidence. But I was lucky enough to have collected some samples of the nano fluid before that. Charles is looking into it now. This is much more complicated than it was at first. The three of us will keep collecting information. If we find anything, I will let you know tomorrow. Good luck, but be careful. I don't want to rescue two miscreant kids and a robot that thinks it's a real detective. Sweet. Ugh. Nanko lent me this door card earlier. It's very convenient. I hear it was your invention. Oh, this is just a prototype. I've since developed a new heaven level pass card. The gangster's pass card systems won't stop an old man like me for long. Pretty impressive work, I must say. You have so many inventions. Of course I do. The Soul Separator and Laser Billy are two of my personal favorites. I don't suppose you have any core processor chips for an old robot laying around. My friend's been, well, out of action lately. It's nearly impossible to find parts for those antique robots now, but my god's touch device should work even on the most ancient androids. Looks like you have all the necessary parts to put it together already. Now all you need to do is print one out according to the blueprint. God's touch. Okay. Combine. I failed. Um, okay, so the gold finger is the gold finger. The intelligence then is the deep learning processor and the vision is this. There we go. Made in Charles Workshop, an artificial chip that simulates the quantum brain of smart robots. Let me go put it in my dumb robot. Okay, that's all I can do for today. Once I get the report back tomorrow regarding the recharge fluid, I can decide my next move. Time to go. We go now. Charles, I'm heading home now. Don't forget that recharge fluid. Don't worry, I'll have the results tomorrow. A poster of the singer Cheryl, taken from her dressing room and lost for 13 years, now turns up in Brank's apartment. Why? Is 
someone trying to send a message. This feels like the work of Noah. The nanofluid in that machine seems to have a supporting relationship with the brain implant device. Could they be working together to control a robot's behavior? Are the missing robots the work of Noah as well? Damn it. Nearly everything was lost in the explosion. Where the hell's Brank? If I don't get to the bottom of this soon, more robots might be taken. Come on, Charles. I'm counting on you. <clears throat> How did I get back here before that idiot? Didn't he leave Underbridge before me? Meow. I'm a kitty. Meow. Elizabeth's always grumpy when she wakes up, so it's probably best to let her sleep. Okay. Whee! This is a strange, quite addictive machine. Rex once spent a whole day with this machine. Oh, that's right, I haven't actually had a chance to explore the house as the kitty. The quickest way to travel is to use the vent. Where should I go, meow? Let's go to the workshop. Meow, this is that smart-ass robot, BBX. Don't tell me he's going to explode again. Beep, beep, reboot complete. BBX is fully operational. Hmm, this God's Touch device works pretty well. I need to ask the old man for a couple more, just in case. What a day, but still no update on Brank. Hopefully Charles will have some good news in the morning. Well, I guess it's time to hit the sack. I am Kitty. Hello. Hello, BBX. Hi, Meow. Hello, William. It's been a long time. You look well. <laughs> what? BBX can understand what I say? Has he evolved? Meow? Meow. Let's go to the living room. Oh, not here. Um, yeah, the living room. Was it? There we go. Oh, all the kitties are still here after their kitty party. These guys are still asleep. Meow. You're still awake, though. Hey there, little guy. You got home late. Hi, Connie. Why are you still here, meow? I've been waiting for you. <laughs> like I would believe that. Well, the boss and Bradsey were organizing family stuff, so I was getting bored. Anyway, now that you're here, let's go have some fun. Sorry, meow. Today was exhausting, and I'm pretty swiped. Oh, another awake kitty. Oh, I can jump all the way up there. Classic ROM game, Mad Magic. I got a video game. Martin? Well, look who it is, Meow. Nice to see you again, William. Are you reading a book, Meow? Meow, I just love human books. Take this one, for instance, the Illustrated Guide to Feline Mating Rituals. These books are really well kept here, like they're new. 
Actually, I think most of those books were never opened. How's it going with the Bourbon family? The family made peace with the Biocats, meow. The boss himself went to the meeting, and I heard those Biocats just couldn't wait to join us, meow. I found out afterwards that someone from our family started the conflict on purpose, but the boss wants to deal with it himself, so I get a couple of days to relax, meow. That's why you're killing time reading books here? Meow, reading's a good way to kill time. Reading is learning, honing your mind. And these illustrations really are something. Meow, whatever you like to call it. Am I done here? Am, am I done here? Is there any point to climbing up here? Oh. Maybe there's something hidden behind them. No, oh, I want to go up there and try and find a hidden thing. I can't actually search behind them. Go to sleep, maybe? Yeah, let's rest. We didn't actually, like, do anything as William. That's a shame. A lot happened today. I need a good night's sleep, meow. Yeah, you didn't do anything, though, William. You didn't have an adventure. The siren is a fiend. Beep beep! Wake up, you idiot! Ugh, shut that noise off. Don't make me regret fixing you. <laughs> Initiating self-destruct sequence. <laughs> now things really feel like they're back to normal. Okay, I'll get up. Go prepare breakfast or something. Oh, I'm at Kitty again. Hello, I am I am Kitten again. The Interstellar Alliance has detected a signal from Sagittarius, the cause of which is being hotly debated online. Many believe this is a signal from an extraterrestrial civilization, and have attempted to prove this by referencing previously received signals of unknown origins. Experts have downplayed this theory. More details are emerging as a new f as more details are oh hello Ace. More details are emerging of the new fuel source discovered in an ice mine in Siberia. It's estimated that the new energy resource, once refined, will be able to support up to 120 years of global energy consumption. Breaking news: A disturbing sculpture made from both human and robot body parts has been found in the Underbridge district. The horrific act appears similar to an unsolved murder case, a serial murder case from years ago. Has the murderer finally returned? I remember this case. Ah, uh, I knew he would make another move, but I didn't think it would be so soon. Oh, flashback time. Noah, the killer, mastermind of the sculpture murderers, and the target of the special mission squad's manhunt. He has committed several horrifying murders, and the victims have included both humans and robots. His technique is exceptionally cruel. After killing his victims, he mutilates their bodies and forms them into a half-human, half-robot sculpture. These sculptures are all inspired by the new god, Bison, and there's always a worship circle drawn at the crime scene as well. 
it can be concluded that Noah is a fanatical follower of this new god. Several police officers have died in our pursuit of Noah to date, and Noah has continued to claim the lives of many innocent civilians. This ends today. Our intelligence staff have pinpointed Noah's hideout, and we are determined to catch the monster this time. Should the target resist, you have orders to shoot on sight. Inspector Royd will take it from here. Alright everyone, listen up. We all know how dangerous this maniac is, so pay attention to the plan. To ensure we nail him this time, local police will be providing support for the special mission squad. The assault will proceed as follows. Dot dot dot. Team G131 reporting, we have arrived at checkpoint A and are awaiting instructions. Team G310 reporting, we've arrived at checkpoint F, awaiting instructions. Team G311 reporting, we've arrived at checkpoint R. It's under our control and we're awaiting further orders. Teams G113 and G114 reporting, we've surrounded the back entrance of the target building and are awaiting further instructions. Reporting to central control, all teams are ready at their designated points, and phase one of the plan is underway. Please advise. Attention, duelists! You are green to proceed up to phase two. Get ready to move. Attention all teams. Attention all teams. Begin phase two. Move, move, move. Something's happened. We need to hurry up. Just like you predicted, Noah has set up a trap. We need to be careful. Relax, we're prepared for this. I just hope we can avoid more casualties. We're running out of time. Have you hacked the defenses? Almost. Okay, defenses deactivated. Is this Noah's hideout? Able, these biological storage containers. Looks like we're right about Noah's genetic disease. The lab seems deserted, but Noah could be hiding anywhere. We must be careful. Oh? Oh. A bioclean room? Is that a person in there? I should go in. Any biological infection won't affect me. Stay alert, Rex, and watch my back. It's Lena Toddy. She seems to be in some sort of trance. I'll, I'll try to wake her. You check the rest of the area. Roger that. Call out if you need assistance. The liquid contains organ tissue grown in conjunction with machinery. Robot and human fused together. Amazing. Can I help? No thanks, I'm trying to wake her. Continue with the investigation. So many records. Very professionally kept. Damn, looks like we tripped some kind of a backup security system. If he's still alive today, he must have solved the problem of the dissolving skin. I was so close to catching him that time. Hey, is everything alright? You've been staring at nothing for a while. <laughs> Just give me a moment. <laughs> ring, ring. Oh. Rex, did you hear about another big case this morning? Yeah, I heard the news. Are you sure it was him? Can you give me some time at the crime scene? You already know? 
But, what? Is there a problem? The problem is, we haven't even been to the crime scene yet. Why not? I'm coming over there now. The police can't get into the Underbridge District right now. The king's probably holding them up. Though that's not necessarily a bad thing. If Noah really is behind this, I'll need to be ready. I think I should break out my little friend, just in case. Oh, heck yeah. Give me that. Oh. Um, sure. So February 21st, Arthur Forytown. A murder of Lisa, a female. The victim was an ordinary civilian and housewife. The witness is the victim's husband, Mandy, who is the delivery man of the town. Mandy is a horrible husband name. The witness found the victim murdered when he got back home from work. The murderer mutilated the victim's body and created some type of sculpture with the body parts on a damaged town robot. Blood and suspected murder slash mutilation tools were found at the crime scene. Nothing relevant to the murderer was found, so Mandy is considered the prime suspect at the moment. Mandy developed depression after the murder and committed suicide a year later. No conclusion can be made regarding the situation of missing organs due to a lack of information. Following the bizarre murder of the Starlight City singer, investigators brought up this case again, believing the two to be linked and thus part of a serial murder case. Forensic experts who performed the autopsy had different opinions, as the way the murderer created the sculptures was messy and orderless in the Arthur Forey town case, while the mutilation in the singer sculpture murder case was highly skillful. Detective Gadget holds a reservation to the opinions. Okay. So maybe not the same killer. That links to here. Uh, these sculpture cases are now considered having committed by the same suspect, currently suspect, still on the loose. Police forces from all over the state will work together to track down the murder. What is it, Ace? Yeah. <laughs> of course, Detective Gadget. He hasn't made Inspector yet. The suspect is slightly thin in stature. He's likely to be mentally disordered. The suspect is believed to be isolated and unsociable, capable of avoiding detection. As the two crime scenes are quite distant, it's very likely the suspect has a personal vehicle and is able to enter the crime scene ahead of time and wait patiently for his target. All police forces should note that they are required to check all vehicles and people coming into the state and keep a good record of relevant information. Someone with connections to the police recently revealed that the singer Cheryl's murder is part of a serial murder case, and that the murderer still remains on the loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Singer sculpture. The famous female singer Cheryl was found murdered in her dressing room mere minutes before she was due to perform. Her mutilated body parts were found combined with those of her robot. Well, I mean, Inspector Gadget is like a human robot hybrid as well, so I get. I get they might want to have an easter egg to that, if that was intended as an easter egg to that. Was this atrocity committed by a radical and fanatic congregation? So far, no religious organization has claimed responsibility for the murder. This is such a brutal and heinous crime, and we wonder when the police are going to arrest the suspect. Okay, so she's missing a trachea or throat. Was this guy missing an organ? Or this lady missing an organ, sorry. It doesn't say. And it does say that there were... Yeah, no conclusion of missing organs. So there may not be missing organs from there. There are definitely missing organs here. A trachea and the throat of the singer. Which, I guess, is what you would want from a singer. I guess they're really good tracheas. The religious sculpture and ceremony arrangement both point to a new religious group that worships a new god, Bison. I have done research on documents on this new religion and found that they worship more than one god. Their belief has a strong personal preference. The sign and sculpture of the crime scene points to a god called Bison from the Roverism, uh, who stands for effusion and communication. Okay. Excluding the first case, due to insufficient records, all murders prior involved victims with missing organs. They're 
taken away. Who could be the one that has the diseased organs? So the murderer's been replacing his body parts, I guess, maybe? Everyone's pointing out how mentally disordered the, uh, the murderer is. Missing liver. A high sea cruise. The murderer's believed to be a skilled hacker. Which is something that is not noticed in previous cases. Interesting. 41 people were killed. Jeez. So a throat, liver, and kidneys. Uh, so who, who had the kidneys? Victor and various other participants decide the likelihood of the murder returning is very small. Reinforced gene experiment code 1887, top secret. The experiment reinforcing the intelligence of the test targets through genetic modification have been successful. However, it's a shame that there's a high chance of se sequela among the descendants of a test target in this experiment. The descendants will develop diseased organ collapse because of the incomplete inheritance from the modification of chromosome genetic sequences, blah, 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 blah. The test targets of reinforced gene experiment 1887 have a genetic sequence that will respectively affect the pancreas, throat, liver, kidneys, and skin. Suppose the missing organ in the Arthur Forey Town case was the pancreas, then the order of missing organs in the later murder cases matches the order of the genetic sequence. The murderer is highly likely to be a descendant who kills to replace his diseased organs with the normal organs of the victims. Only the descendants of the test organs can meet his requirements. Okay, the skin peeling off in the fifth case was a small amount and is far from enough uh, as once the skin starts to develop symptoms, it will expand to the whole body. The fifth case is very likely to be just a trial to get the skin, and the murderer is going to kill again in, in order to get the complete skin. There are 41 descendants of the survivors, only 11 of them are genetically stable. John Toddy. Okay. So yeah, Lena Toddy was the one who was in our flashback. Witness Smith, gender male. Victim Maria, gender female. Both of the victim and the witnesses are prison police officers. The witness enters cell block C to find the victim as she was late for shift change. The witness found the victim and several prisoners killed and mutilated mercilessly. The murderer destroyed a prison service robot violently and made it into a sculpture of the twig of birch with the mutilated body parts of the dead. CSI later noted skillful technique was used. The witness then sounded the prison alarm. The monitoring system failed to notice anything or anyone suspicious, and neither did the other prisoners. Like the previous cult sculpture cases, nothing related to the murderer's identity was found at the crime scene. The police are still investigating how the murderer entered the prison, committed the crime, and escaped without detection. The, pr the murderer's very familiar with the prison environment and the monitored areas. He could have worked or been incarcerated in the prison before. Okay. So this is the one that the kidney is stolen. A sculpture of the King of White Wings. The murderer followed the wife back in the room herself and killed and mutilated her. Her body was made into a sculpture. Husband returned to the room early with two children, an 11-year-old boy and 12-year-old girl. After getting the wife's text message, the three victims were killed and mutilated in a similar way. Part of the bodies were sewed together with the body parts of the first victim to make the sculpture. Ugh. 
the left kidney of uh, the grown woman and the right kidney of the girl were not found. Moving destination, arriving at destination, can hear explosions coming from the location where the main force is being led by Victor, continuing the mission. Rescued Lena Tati. Found the target while extracting. The target detonated the building after its left eye was shot. We're trapped in the collapse. Escaped successfully. Found and retrieved a beak mask after the fight with Noah. There are no traces of skin or hair on the mask, but there are slight traces of liquid. Upon investigation, sweet and soluble cells were found. According to this, the person seems to be without an external skin layer, resulting in residual dissolving cells on the mask. Experts assume this is the result of gene mutation. The DNA of this person doesn't match anything in known gene pools, to the point where it's difficult to even call the creature human. I wonder if it's um, symbolic then that that bunny it was a left eye that was weird on the bunny, and I think maybe the butler robot as well. It's, it's Inspector Gadget. We found Detective Gadget. The federal police have announced the establishment of a special mission squad to deal with the recent serial murder cases. The famous Detective Gadget of Starlight City and International Security Investigator Victor are designated as the team leaders. The federal government has put high expectations on this team, and the leaders are very confident of catching the murderer when speaking with reporters. Name Gadget. Joined the police on the 6th of December, 2117, and worked in CSI and forensics, has solved, he solved several important cases and was lauded as one of the most excellent detectives in Starlight City. On the 5th of August, 2126, Gadget was killed in action regarding the sculpture cases. He lost his wife while trying to protect innocent civilians. The police team are grieving for Detective Gadget and urge all police to work together to catch the murderer, so Gadget didn't die for nothing. So, yeah, Detective Gadget is canon. And it very much is. <laughs> Gadget. I wonder if he had a daughter, Penny. Did we look at everything? I think that we did. Right. I didn't even mean to look at that, so. Yeah, this is what I wanted. The Glock 37 little friend. Noah. I'm coming for you. Making corpses of his victims into sculptures of an evil god and leaving by mysterious religious arrangements and grotesque ceremonies. These are all signature elements of Noah's old and extremely brutal crimes. Yesterday's mysterious package led me to the Underbridge district. And now, today's sculpture is pulling me back. Were these events all aimed at me? I'm almost convinced he's come back after all this time. I just pray the gangs have left the crime scene untouched. If I'm right about this, Noah will have left me another message there. Oh, there's that sleazeball guy. I'll repeat this one last time. We will take serious action if you continue to block our way. Huh? Since when have the police been interested in underbridge affairs? This is a very important case. Please gather our way before things get out of control. Are you threatening me? Wait, there's no need for violence. Why don't you just let me in? Rex, thank God you've arrived. Who the hell are you? This is none of your... Ring, ring. Boss, these police officers aren't giving up, should we? What? Oh, okay, okay, I got it. The boss said this detective can come in as long as he sticks close to our escort. You have 48 hours to crack the case. If you can't identify the murderer by then... Well, the boss says it's past time old debts get settled. Rex, no. 
Don't worry about me, Royd. I've been waiting for this chance for years. These crazy gangs are becoming bolder by the day. Yeah, tell me about it. Brazenly interrupting the police's job like that? What would people say if... Uh, I skipped it. Damn it. The Underbridge District is quite sensitive right now. I don't like it, but we'll have to send Rex in solo to investigate. You can't be serious. A private detective instead of the police? That's completely unacceptable. Rex is one of us, and now's not the time to argue. We need to get ready to break in if things go wrong. Yes, sir. So are these my escort? Yeah, let's go. Let's go! Take me to the crime scene and keep the sarcasm to yourself, circuit brain. Lovely. That freak sculpture's over there. You're free to look around, Mount do anything stupid. We're watching you. Thanks for your kind words of support. Stay out of the way while stay out of the way while I'm investigating, and don't disturb the crime scene. If you want, we can trade insults all day. I have a memory bank full of them, or you could stop whining and do your job. Ugh. Oh, there's like a clown mask where that ruby was. So many materials used. Is this robot? Brank? Poor Sod. Who's gonna take care of his puppy now? It turns out Brank does have an implanted device in his head. So it seems Noah must be one controlling robots. Am I hallucinating again? Hello, Detective. It's so nice to see you again. Please follow me. I've prepared something fabulous for you. Okay. What is this? Don't keep me waiting, detective. Okay, we have an invitation. Strange. I hallucinate whenever I touch the implanted devices. But I only started to have hallucinations after I received that first package from Noah. How did he find out where I lived? Has Noah been spying on me all these years? The hallucinations are becoming more and more clear, which can't be a good sign. If I ever come across another device, I need to be much more cautious. Okay, sweet. The bones have been joined with a high degree of care, but the method used to connect torn muscle tissue seems a bit hurried. Some rust can be seen on the metal part. He has a tentacle. A slotted alloy plate design used in the last machine generation, probably from a mid-aged robot. The haze in the cornea suggests time of death to be between 6 and 12 hours ago. The torso skin is sewed into onto a robot chest. The sewing skills of a high level, but the result is still unpleasant. Upgraded not long ago, with the latest mechanical look that came out last month. Okay. 
Let's use our weirdo vision mode. Oh, there's like something on the skin. Liver mortis doesn't disappear under pressure, which indicates the time of death to be between four to ten hours ago. A face made from a dead human and a robot. The techniques are not quite as sophisticated as those of the cases 13 years ago. Ugh. Some kind of fungus, which may be a result of long-term exposure to a dark and damp environment. Okay, combine. The sewing of the joints and wounds seems a bit unstable. Is the murderer unpracticed after such a long break? Judging from the variety of parts used, the murderer seems quite random in his selection of targets. It's not an easy task to collect this many robots. There must have been multiple victims. From the look of this body, the time of death is before midnight and it was not mutilated at the scene different to the old cases. Apart from the rust on the robots, a kind of fungus can be seen on them too. This must be the result of a long time exposure to a dark and damp environment, which is very different than the previous sculpture cases. Okay. The bodies have been handled differently, although this looks strikingly similar to the older sculpture cases. The selection of materials and the fine details of the work are different to those of the old one. So it's what, a copycat? Interesting. The robot parts are from different years, but the human parts are all quite fresh. Less than a day old. The victims were probably all murdered last night. While everything looks similar to the previous cases, the lack of attention to detail surprises me. Has the murderer lost his skills, or is this actually a different individual? I hadn't considered we might be dealing with a copycat. There's got to be more clues here, and the presence of Frank's head is concerning. I better dig deeper. Yeah, let me look at this clown. A weird clown mask is hanging here. I recognize this mask. It's crime scene as the evidence from the AED Board of Directors murder case. One of the worst Noah of Noah's crimes. If I remember correctly, 40 people on a cruise ship were killed. 41 is what your case file said, isn't it? Bunny puppet, poster, mask, three pieces of evidence from three of Noah's cases. I wonder what else will be waiting for me ahead. Um, okay, so I can't go that way. Rings. Robotic supplementary fluid that has coagulated. Okay. Powdery deposits show sign of volatization of the robot's opens. Okay, it's that same disgusting goo. There are coagulated settlements on several parts of the supplementary fluid, which is similar to Brink's case. Suggests they're a result of the same method. Oh! There's a bloody footprint near the summoning ceremony step with no patterns. The owner must have worn shoe covers. The unpatterned footprints destroyed the integrity of the summoning circle. What a rookie move. The destroyed footprints suggest the integrity of destroyed this integrity of the summoning circle. This suggests that they didn't really care about the ceremony. The murderer imitated the old serial murder case crime scene with patience, but he wasn't careful enough on the details and wasn't serious on the ceremony either. It's set up to look like some sort of ritual. The murderer wanted to create a false worship site, but the footprints reveal his lack, his carelessness, and lack of respect. This is nothing but a cover. Okay, well we do know that there were some bison worshippers. There are some light impressions which indicate that something in the shape of a square was recently moved here, like some kind of box. Drag marks extend all the way to the elevator. I should follow them. Oh, I haven't, uh... I 
don't know if I've really explored up here before. Wait, there's something behind the console. He set a timer to lift the curtain at 8 a.m. today. He chose rush hour to reveal the sculpture to the public. Okay. Is there anything I can interact with here? No. It looks like the murderer used this curtain to cover up the crime scene, ready for its big reveal. This box? The shape of this box matches the mark below. Does that mean the murderer moved the bodies inside these cargo boxes? I should check the cargo passage. The last record was from yesterday afternoon, but the murderer couldn't have delivered the bodies at that time. The human corpses suggest that they were killed last night. But wait, there's an encrypted file here. Ugh. If I navigate the system correctly, I should be able to move the key to the target. Then I can bypass the encryption and read the data. Um, not how encryption works, but okay. We did it. The goods must have been delivered from the other hubs by the murderer, so I should check those out. Okay. The crime scene has mostly been figured out, but I'm still missing some key links. There are many traces of the same coagulated fluid from yesterday, so I'll need to ask Charles about it. Do I have all the gears? No, I think I might be missing one still. Oh no, I, I have four of them. I guess I don't have all of them yet. Let's go talk to Charles. Investigation, but it's important you allow me to ask questions at the workshop over there. Ugh, whatever. Be quick, I'll be waiting outside. Cool. I didn't expect you guys to be here. Where's Charles? Grandpa, he's gone missing. Missing? What do you mean? Follow me and I'll explain. Robin, stay here and keep an eye out for any gang members. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a cool job. Leave it to me. The coffee cup's been tipped over. Charles seems to have left in a hurry. A gun box under his pillow. It's empty. If he armed himself, he must have had some idea about where he was going. Could it be related to the nanofluid research from yesterday? Grandpa stayed up quite late last night. I was too tired, and so I went to bed before him. 
I could tell something was wrong, but I didn't ask. I assumed he was worried about his research. I see. I should take a closer look at what he was doing. The report is in Grandpa's computer. Take a look yourself. Okay. Research progress into the mechanism and implementation of nanorobots by Dr. Edward Amber. A statement of the research progress into the operational mechanism and the activity maintenance of nanorobots. This is an introduction to the current research situation of the technology's physical performance. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so Dr. Edward maybe is sus. Research object, nanorobot liquid cluster. The functional product was made of molecules of different nanolengths, a hi highly dangerous hacker hardware. Nanorobots have no effect on human beings so far, but they're able to change the nerve tree structure in electronic brains. The logic simulation experiment found that they could build an illegal interface through which they could influence a robot's thinking from outside. It can cause a highly intense and instant coagulation of the supplementary fluid, which will revert to normal after a while, depending on the amount of fluid. The nanorobots that fail to enter electronic brains before they run out of power will form sediments. Okay. These nanobots can break through the defenses of an electronic brain? If that's true. What? But that can't happen. If this is correct, then people would go crazy. Nobody would trust robots ever again. So we have two ways in which nanofluid is connected to today's crime scene. Brank was full of the stuff, and there's residue under the statue too. But let's take one step at a time, gather the evidence, then fit it together. Okay, I have all of the clues. Uh, just how the heck do I need to place these? Oh, can't go there. That can't go there. Uh, I think that size has to be the one. So this has to be in one of these two spots. Let's just put it there for now. This could go there. And this could go there. That can't go there. That could go there. And this can't go anywhere. So this is all wrong. <laughs> Let's put this here. I might not have been all wrong, but it's probably mostly wrong. There we go. The murderer made use of the special logistics hubs in Underbridge and used standard shipping containers to transport the materials. After that, he used the curtains to cover his sculpture. Although the murderer tried very hard to imitate the previous MO, the details weren't copied perfectly. The murderer set up a timing device on the hook control station after he finished the sculpture, then left the scene. Yes, which is why whenever I'm near those devices, I start getting weird hallucinations. At least, I'm pretty sure that's why. The timing device went off in the morning and the curtain was raised, revealing the sculpture to the public. I don't know if he's put that together as why he's affected by being near the implants, but... Sculpture in the square must been the sculpture in the square must have been done by someone under Noah's instruction, or someone with knowledge of his previous crimes. From the residue left behind on the square, today's murder and yesterday's investigation are linked. Charles may have guessed the identity of the murderer by analyzing the condensate before he disappeared. But why would he go out in the middle of the night with a gun? Where did he go? Apart from us, the only one who knew we were going to analyze the residue was Doc Edward. Then he heard about the explosion yesterday, or when he heard about it, he was really shocked. We should go see him next. As a matter of fact, we've already tried to reach Dr. Edward today. Ah, uh, perfect, you're still here! 
Nanko, you're back already? Did the gang get tough with you? Pa, Nanko doesn't get caught. But sadly, there wasn't much I could do. The gang has locked the clinic down. I don't know the exact connection between the doctor and grandpa's disappearance, but I can no longer state that there isn't one. Tell Uncle Rex the results of our investigation. Yesterday, we searched the site of the explosion very carefully, but everything was ruined. The gang sealed off the area right after we left. And today, there was no sign of the good doctor at his clinic. The whole area was swarming with thugs. So Doc Edward and Charles both go missing at the same time? This can't be a simple coincidence. We can't carry out an inspection of the clinic if the gangs are already in residence. So let's focus on the logistics hubs instead. If we start there, we might find where the sculpture materials came from. Um... No, Rex isn't actually their uncle. <laughs> That's just something that children sometimes call older men as, like, a respectful thing. Yeah, they have no relation uh, to, to Rex. But we don't know if the clues are red herrings or not. Trust me, if this is who I think it is, that's all part of his fun. Keep watch on the clinic for now. I'll go check out the hubs. Who are you talking about? You're not saying the one behind this all is Noah? Looks like you're pretty well informed. Whoever it is, I'll make this nutcase pay for what he's done. So kids, I'll need your help to distract the guard outside. Any ideas how to do it? Leave that to me. You? Ninko and Robin can distract the guard using Grandpa's imitation device, and I'll get you to the logistics hub. Wait, what? I didn't agree to this. Mm. You talk about kicking gangster butt every day. Now's your chance. Sure, but why have I got to help this loser? Oh, screw you, Robin. Oh? Okay, okay, but only because Charles needs my help. And similarly, I am not sure whether any of them are actually Charles's grandkids. They might not be. But they might be. I don't know. I didn't read their bios. I should, probably. I guess this is it. Let's get ready to move out. Oh no, I don't think that they could be his grandkids because they explicitly have no family except for each other, the two siblings. So yeah, uh, Rex is not an uncle. Charles is not actually their grandpa. Follow the delivery tubes, and you should be able to find the next logistics hub. The gangs are on high alert today, so you'll need to be extra careful. Take this. It's a location positioning badge Grandpa and I designed together. You should be wearing this badge right now. When two badges get close enough, the sound of signal gets stronger as the badges grow closer. Good luck. I hope you can find Grandpa. I've got to get back to Robin. He's such a bullheaded dimwit. He's probably mouthing off to a guard, pretending to be you this instant. Ha, huh, he's keeping my reputation up then. But be careful, Lola. These gangs won't give you any special treatment just because you're a child. A disgusting child. Um, well, they don't know me except I showed up yesterday and Robin stole my wallet and Lola got it back for me. That's all that they know me from. They don't actually know me at all, besides I'm some random detective they met yesterday. Um, Charles, it looks like, they have been working with and stuff like that, so they presumably know Charles for probably quite some time. He's probably the one who's been taking care of him. There are even posters that once promoted Sky City down here. Hmm, that's just a place for the rich and powerful. Oh, jeez, it's, uh, it's past two. 
I need to go get lunch and custard. So I think I'm going to sign out for now. It saved just a moment ago, so let's get out of here. Time flies. Yeah. And uh, to Tuesday, I'll play more Alien Legacy. I don't remember what I'm doing Thursday. I think I'm going to try a VR game. It's Wraith the Oblivion something came after that, after a colon. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and do, like, a VR thing on Thursday, see how it goes. It's just, like, an experiment. But yeah, later. To, uh, did I say Tuesday twice? Alien Legacy is Tuesday, and the second Tuesday, no, and then Thursday, Thursday is a virtual Thursday, or at least I'll try. I might not be able to go through four whole hours in VR, just because it's really hot uh, in the house right now, and you get really hot and sweaty in the headset, and so I don't, I don't know if I can last that long without, like, passing out, so... Yes, Thursday is the second Tuesday, you are very right, Ace. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try try out. It's uh, like a VR horror game. It looks pretty cool if it doesn't make me nauseous and if it's not way too hot to play it. So, I don't know. Later, though.